Hi there team, Fletcher Alexa here. I had another question come in off social media, this one for Craig, and he's asking about things to bear in mind for when you're progressing from a half marathon to a full marathon. I guess three things that are key to think about. The first one, which most people are kind of thinking about already when they're starting to make the move up to a marathon distance, is about the distance and about a different approach for training. The long runs definitely get longer. Um, and a more important aspect of the training plan when it comes to running a marathon. You won't be going up to um, a similar to race distance, so for a half marathon training you might have gone to an almost or maybe slightly over race distance in training, you won't do that in a marathon. You'll probably end up around the 20 mile mark for your longest long run, three weeks out from the race. Might be a little bit less, might be a little bit more, depending on, on you and your training and your circumstances. Um, and the reason for that is that the injury training benefit versus injury risk seesaw starts tipping slightly to more injury risk as we go over the 20 mile mark. So um, that's one to bear in mind. It is worth getting a training plan. That's something I can help you with, kind of writing a training plan specifically for you to get you from exactly where you are into your in your training to exactly where you want to be. Two other things that people don't perhaps consider as much when it comes to um, marathon training um, is firstly the nutrition side of things. So you may have been able to get away without fueling your long runs for half marathon. I certainly don't usually bother eating much um, on a half marathon race. For marathons, pretty much everybody will need to be starting to take on some sort of fuel on a marathon distance race and in your training runs. And the key is experimentation. So what works to make sure you're fully nicely fueled before your training run in terms of the meals a couple of days before, breakfast on the day, um, and also what to eat whilst you're running. So lots of uh, other videos and other resources that I've got on my YouTube channel and my website around that. Um, if you need to um, and help finding out more about those, then just let me know and I can send you the links. The final one that doesn't often get thought about is actually the sort of mental aspect and the mental preparation. It's uh, there's a little saying, isn't there, that the first third of a marathon is, is run with your legs, the second third is run with your head, and the final third is run with your heart. I think there's definitely, you find out stuff about yourself when you start running longer and up to the marathon distance. And because of the distance of the race, there will be inevitable lows where your brain or your body or perhaps both just go, oh, for goodness sake, I think I might have had enough of this. Um, so having some little tricks and techniques um, to help perk up your mood or help distract you from, from the running that you're doing at that particular time. Maybe even just thinking about some technique tips just to reset your, your mind and your body can really help as well. And those long runs, again, are a good opportunity to experience um, what running a longer distance feels like and to practice strategies to help. hope that helps, Craig.